When you think about the Little League World Series, what's one of the first names that comes to mind? Monet Davis. In 2014, she took the world by storm after being the first girl to ever pitch a winning game in the Little League World Series. She was an absolute star. But where's the pitching sensation now? I'm Riley Wynn and I caught up with Monet to see what she's been doing since she made history almost a decade ago. On August 15th, 2014, Monet not only became the first girl to pitch a winning game in the Little League World Series, but she was also the first girl to ever pitch a shutout game. After an epic performance, millions of people tuned in to watch her and her team play. Despite a great run, Monet's team would lose in the semifinals, but Monet still cherishes every moment of the once in a lifetime experience. We got to basically just be treated like big leaguers at such a young age. And then once we, you know, once the game started happening, it's kind of just baseball from there. But I told the guys like, hey, like before this game, like our dream was just to make it here. And now we're here. Now let's just go out and have fun. Like we have nothing to lose. Um, and let's just play our game. So that was just like, once we got there, we knew like, we made it. Now let's just go have fun for the rest of the summer. Cause once it was done, it was, it's time to go back to school. So we wanted to make it memorable. After the Little League World Series, Monet's once in a lifetime moment became her life for a while. She was a sports icon, making her rounds on TV shows, magazine covers, playing in celebrity games and meeting some of her favorite stars. It was very hectic. And I thought it would slow down, but it just, that was just the beginning of it. So it was just like going, that was like the first time like people were like following me and like taking pictures of me. And I was like, what is going on? Like, this is not like what is happening? Like, this is not normal. And I missed the first day of eighth grade. And I was so upset because I was like, once I go to school, I can see my friends and I'll feel you know, back to normal. Even though Monet just wanted to be a normal kid, she still had a massive platform and she used it for good. She wrote a book about her life and her love for sports. She started a shoe line that benefited charities and she spoke to schools about her experiences. By the time Monet was in high school, she was still a celebrity, but things started to slow down for her in that aspect and she was able to do what she loves again and what got her famous, play ball. Monet was a three-sport athlete in high school, playing soccer, basketball, and softball. She won a state championship in both soccer and softball. Ever since Williamsport, we've all known Monet was a great athlete. And now it was time for her to take her athletics to the next level and earn a college scholarship. And I was like, maybe I want to do softball in college. Talking to my parents, talking to my coach, and I was like, yeah, I think I want to do softball. And they were all like, all right, let's go. So, and we're like, we need to get down to choosing a school because it's already super late. You're going into your senior year. Most of these colleges already have their commits and, you know, are looking, you know, for the next year's commit. So I sat down with my baseball coach and we sent a bunch of emails to different schools and schools got back, but, you know, saying like, hey, like, I appreciate the email, but we've already had our 2019 commits. Monet didn't let the nose deter her. She was going to play college softball and just like she had always done, she was going to create her own path to do so. I reached out to the Hampton coach and she got back to me and she's like, hey, like we'd love to see you at a camp. So I went to a camp and you know, we've kind of been in contact ever since. And Hampton had a journalism program. The dean was well accomplished and it wasn't too far from home, but it also felt, I felt comfortable and I felt like family when I stepped on campus. But the reason why I really wanted to go to HBC was because I wanted to be around girls that look like me. I wanted to play next to girls that look like me. We have similar backgrounds who could relate to me on a deeper level. Um, so that was like the main factor. Monet has been at Hampton for a few years now, playing softball and pursuing her journalism degree. She's already gotten great broadcasting experience with play ball, Major League Baseball, and of course, the Little League World Series. And Monet isn't stopping with just covering the game. She wants to influence it too. Once I feel like I'm done with that, maybe some front office work, some coaching, or even you know owning at some point in time. So. I definitely want to start with broadcasting, start with journalism first, and then move on from there. Whatever way Monet wants to be involved with sports, I know she'll be a real game changer as she's done so already in her life so far. She's a great role model for not only young girls, but student athletes thinking about going the HBCU route for college. My advice to girls who are trying to, you know, just getting to sports and, you know, making it to the next level, um, I would definitely just say work hard and have fun. Um, I know 
you know, once you get older, sometimes a sport is more of a job. But if you hear a lot of professionals talking about sports, they always talk about how much fun they, that they have. Any advice that I would give to like, someone that wants to go to an HBCU, um, I always say go to homecomings because homecomings is like a huge family reunion. Like so many different classes come back and even people from different schools will come. It's just like everyone just here and it's a huge, it's just a big family. Monet Davis is an absolute inspiration to not only young girls, but to anyone trying to change the game. It was crazy to see someone so mature at such a young age be able to handle the stardom so well and use her platform for good. Even though she's not in the spotlight like she once was, she's still a role model you should look up to. Monet Davis is a real one. What are some other athletes who were absolute studs that you're not sure where or what they're up to now? Hit me up on Twitter and Instagram and let me know.